Hello again, I'm Dr. Parvez Ahmed uh, In today's lecture, uh, we will talk about two kind of the radiation detectors that is, uh, we will talk about lithium containing slow neutron detectors and then we will talk about helium proportional counters So let's start with the first one uh, that is a lithium containing slow neutron detectors uh, so what we have in this kind of the detectors, uh, we normally have uh, a neutron induced reaction uh, which is detected by uh, lithium based uh, scintillators. I mean that you can call that it is something like uh, the principle of this kind of the detector. That is uh, we have neutron induced reactions and that neutron induced reactions is basically detected by lithium based uh, scintillators. So the most popular uh, scintillators, uh, I mean, uh, material that we are using uh, and the detectors uh, basically consist of uh, lithium iodide uh, scintillator, uh, I mean, uh, in lithium based detector, lithium containing uh, slow neutron detector, we normally use the material uh, that is uh, lithium iodide uh, as a scintillator. And the function of this kind of scintillator is like uh, uh, sodium iodide detectors. I mean, we have previously uh, previously talked about uh, the sodium iodide uh, detector scintillator. I mean, uh, we we discuss about that is uh, scintillator detectors in detail. So what we have uh, in this kind of detector. Uh, the crystal size is greater than the range of the reactions product. So what it means, it means that if the crystal size is greater than the range of the reaction product, so false height response is free of wall effect and a signal as for form. So what actually we have in scintillation, uh, uh, I mean the, the scintillation efficiency is almost uh, same for heavy charged particles and secondary electrons. You know that uh, just like we discussed in the previous lectures that uh, scintillation uh, efficiency is uh, varying from particle to particle. I mean it's, uh, depend upon the particular type of uh, the radiation. Here we are saying that uh, scintillation efficiency is almost the same for heavy charged particles uh, and secondary electron. By heavy charged particle we are merely uh, uh, saying or barely mean here uh, the alpha particle and the second electron, you know about that. So again, we have uh, this particular kind of reactions. We have lithium sex, and that lithium lithium sex when interact with the thermal neutron or with the slow neutron. So as a result of that interactions, we have uh, 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 protium. Sorry, uh, we have uh, tritium. Uh, and along with that, uh, the alpha particle, tritium is hydrogen uh, isotope and along with that we have alpha particles uh, with the Q values or energy equal to 4.78 mega electron volt. Now these are the charged particles and these charged particles again, they are being responsible for producing uh, the ionization. And again, we saying that those ionization, uh, uh, I mean the electron is ion fair, they are being detected uh, by the respective electrode and send it forward to the device for detection and the form of the current. So this is, I mean, uh, something like uh, the principle, the pressure principle of lithium containing slow neutron uh, detectors. So, uh, the helium 3 proportional counter, uh, how the, uh, the design or what's the design of helium 3, uh, helium 3 tube. So uh, just like uh, the previous gas detectors, uh, this kind of detector ha has a diameter as large as possible. I mean uh, we have uh, for this kind of detector, allowably we are using a larger diameter as compared to the other gas detectors. So the pressure of the helium 3 is increased to reduce the range of the charged particle. So uh, I mean this is something like a special property uh, of the detectors that the pressure of the helium 3 is increased. Uh, increased per watt to reduce the uh, range of the charged particle. I mean if you are interested to reduce the range of the charged particle so what do you have to do? 
you simply need to uh, increase the pressure of helium-3 so uh, what we do add a small amount of heavier gases to increase uh, stopping power I mean uh, I mean this is uh, uh, again one important characteristic of the helium-3 detectors that is if you are uh, if you are interested to stop uh, in, uh, trusting to increase a uh, stopping power so what do you have to do you have to add a small amount of behavior gaze so this will result uh, in increasing uh, stopping power so uh, the working principle are uh, I mean how it work uh, it just shown in the form of the equations here you can see that we have uh, helium 3 and that helium 3 when the neutron interact so as a result of that uh, we have a tritium nucleus and along with that we have a proton plus 0 0.764 mega electron volt uh, energy as a Q value and again we say that these are the charged particles they are further responsible for the ionization I mean for uh, production of the electron hole fare and the detectors uh, uh, which is then detected by the circuit in the form of the current and give us a sense that the neutron is being detected so I think uh, this is all for this kind of the detectors the last slide uh, we will come with further discussion about uh, other kind of detector so that's all for uh, this lecture